So let's take a look at the indexes today. NASDAQ pushed very hard today. And I was mentioning this yesterday that it could have been a fake out yesterday. Let's look at QQQ. There's fairly high volume yesterday. Ended up being a fake out indecision candlestick. The key that it showed strength yesterday was that it actually filled the gap down. It ran up and filled the gap down yesterday and that showed strength yesterday even though it ended kind of weak. And now today, baked out a lot of bears yesterday and did a big push today to squeeze everybody. There's still a possible cup and handle here or maybe even an inverse head and shoulders a little bit pattern over here. Bulls are still struggling around this area. It's possible that they break through it on Monday. But as of now, they broke this high, but without follow through, they were unable to break this high over here, and they're still hovering right around this previous support area, and it's acting as a resistance thus far, but that could change quite quickly. So bulls are looking pretty strong, decent amount of bull volume. The question is, is this another fake out to the upside or is this the real deal? And Nasdaq's going to now push to all time highs. We shall see Monday if there's going to be follow through. On Monday, we might open a decent amount above the red line, but it might pull back, set a little bit of a lower wick and then push forward on Monday if today's not a fake out. One thing to be somewhat concerned about is that we got a little bit of a bearish hanging man on the weekly chart where we were on an uptrend and we dumped this week bulls picked it back up and now they created a bearish hanging man candlestick and sometimes that suggests a reversal but right now it's still looking fairly strong it's held the weekly lows it's above the four and eight period moving averages on the weekly um there's no eminent red flags right now other than this potential resistance area if the bulls can break through this confidently and run to all-time highs that's what the bulls are looking for on spy spy was unable to break the all-time high as of yet or did it break today it did break today ever so slightly it broke to all-time highs today Slightly, I think this is the highest close on the S&P 500 of all time. It's still looking fairly strong overall. So are we breaking out and headed to new highs? That's the question over here. Bulls are looking fairly strong right now in the short term. They did break out to all time highs. It was a fake out yesterday for the bears. They got that double bottom here. Um, again, potential bearish hanging man candlestick. And that's the concern over here. So we're going to want to see if, if bulls are able to get follow through next week. And that could negate a lot of this sideways action over here and this potential distribution pattern that I was thinking if the bulls are able to follow through and push through, this could be, could be setting up for a lot higher highs in the market uh, because it's had a decent time to consolidate and prepare for the next leg higher obviously the stock market overall is designed to go up so the path of least resistance is still upwards we're going to see how that plays out if the bulls can follow through gold gold had a big rebound today um it was a dump yesterday on fairly high volume on gold and today was a big rebound still closed below the four day moving average over here but it's looking pretty strong because this was a big fake out to the bears and the bulls came back strong today on gold us dollar once again pulled back today as the markets went green and i told you about how it has a bit of an inverse relationship and i think that in big part the way that oh, Part of the reason why the market ran so hard today and why the US dollar pulled back was because um, the economy added less jobs than anticipated. And that was actually looked at as bullish news because 
if the economy is running too hot, then inflation tends to pick up and then interest rates tend to go up. So the market was happy that the economy is not as strong as they were anticipating. And the market's actually happy about that because that means less inflation and lower interest rates likely. So they don't want the economy to run too hot because if the economy runs too hot, then inflation runs hot and then interest rates tend to pick up. And that's obviously looked at as a bad thing for the market. And that's in big part why the market rocket so hard today is because of that surprise. Employment numbers weren't as good as you thought and you would think maybe that's a bad thing, but in fact, it can actually be a good thing. It means lower interest rates for longer and means less inflation potentially. Anyways, thanks for watching this other video. Again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and check out my course if you want to learn more. Thanks.